northern Iraq, 1849, on the eastern bank of the Tigris River, near the city of Mosul. A team of archaeologists from the British Museum discovers thousands of clay tablets containing cuneiform script they believe to have been written by Babylonian priests in the 7th century BC. Among the tablets found were two mysterious relics that have become known as the Babylonian Star Catalogs. According to translations of the ancient text, these tablets describe the precise movements of various celestial bodies, now known as the zodiac. We know so much about the history of Babylonia because of the, the excavation and deciphering of huge numbers of these cuneiform texts. They were steeped in a religious view of life and intrinsic to their religion was devotion to the gods of the planets, different constellations. So this was what we could call the cosmic religion. According to some researchers, these clay tablets provide proof that the ancient civilization of Babylon obtained celestial knowledge from star travelers. The Babylonian star catalogs are an interesting collection of information with accurate mathematical equations, distance between planets, esoteric knowledge that a primitive civilization really shouldn't have. It really starts to raise the question as to how they got this information, what they were using it for. Was it possibly given to them by extraterrestrials that they claim were gods? Like many other ancient cultures, the Babylonians describe Orion as both a constellation and a supreme being. In their writings, Orion is referred to as the loyal shepherd of heaven and the chief god of heavenly realms. Might these records actually provide more evidence connecting ancient man to other worldly beings? For the Babylonians, this constellation of Orion was called Sipazi Anna, which means the shepherd of Anu. Usually we would translate that the shepherd of heaven because Anu was seen as the, the god of heaven. If we go back even further, we find an earlier depiction of Orion as in a bird-like form and was referred to as a messenger. The figure of a bird was located on the stones behind the figure of the shepherd. His position may indicate that he was bringing messages back and forth from Earth to Orion. Now the real question is, how did he do this? Is this all meant to be taken symbolically? Is it possible that what we have here is a very rudimentary description of a type of interstellar communication device? Are the Babylonian star catalogs potentially even documenting an ancient extraterrestrial space station orbiting the Earth, inhabited by ancient aliens who came from Orion? <laughs>